your child with sensory processing differences may have a hard time sitting still. Some things you can try are these tools we will discuss today. They are at the use of a therapy ball, the use of a TheraBand, the use of a fidget, and the use of a sensory cushion. We think these are some tools that are fairly easy to have up in the home to use when your child's doing schoolwork for a movement break before doing schoolwork and just kind of incorporating into a routine at home right now that involves some movement, deep pressure, tactile input to help kids with sensory processing differences thrive either doing schoolwork or before snack time or whatever else they may need to do that requires some focus from them. A therapy ball is a ball that can be used as a chair. And these are really awesome because they engage the small muscles in our core to help us keep our balance and improve also postural control. So we're sitting on the ball and we're kind of, can be a little bit wiggly and use our core muscles to help us engage in sitting up actively, as well as get a little movement in, even if it's very subtle. So Allie's got some really awesome Yeah, and you know, when I've recommended a therapy ball to families, you know, in the past I've brought the ball into the home first just to try it out. Families always 100% buy it. You can get these really cheap at like Walmart or, or Five Below or places that like that like five dollars and, and they last they're really good and they come in different sizes too for different you know whatever height your kiddo is that's great but i also have a peanut shaped ball that is also a big hit with kiddos now this one i got i think off of amazon and they are different sizes as well but so sometimes i'll have kiddos that maybe if the ball is is too much movement for them or you know, they, they can sit on this one, or then they can straddle it one leg on each side, um, right, like a horse. But then, you know, it's, it's also been a really good tool, too. My kids love it and families love it. So, yeah, both that, are really great. The peanut ball is really great for some smaller kids, too, that, you know, it's a little bit smaller and lower to the ground. They can straddle it and kind of feel a little bit more secure sometimes that way, I've found. So the next one we have is an inflatable sensory cushion, which I have here. So there are two sides to this. There's this really bumpy side, which can be really alerting for some kids. Some kids love the bumps. They can kind of also feel it with their fingers when they're sitting on it. And then there's the smooth side. So sometimes kids don't like the bumps right against their body. It's a little too much stimulation. So they, they can sit on the smooth side. So it's a really similar idea to the therapy ball in that it can be placed on top of a chair to sit on and you can kind of wiggle back and forth, again, engaging those core muscles, but it can be a little bit more portable. You can adapt any chair with it. And so that's also helpful if the therapy ball isn't quite the right height for a desk or for the child due to their height. You can use these on any chair, which is really great. Yeah. And I think those are yes. really great. I use those all the time. And actually, a really a cheaper alternative that I've recommended to families, or just more ease of access. Right now, you know, we're entering summer, so beach balls are coming out. What I've had families do, you don't blow it up all of the way, just enough to where, again, you can see me moving it. They still get a little wiggle out of it, wiggle cushion. A dollar, two dollars. And I've had some families I've recommended these to, and they're great. And even if you think they're going to pop, I haven't had one pop, but even if they do, it's just another dollar, two dollar replacement. So it's a really good alternative. Same concept, but just a little, a little cheaper, or easier access sometimes. So. so we're also going to talk about a TheraBand footrest. So this is kind of what TheraBand looks like, and I believe this is extra heavy. I'd recommend the stronger resistance for what we're gonna show you guys today, which is using it as a footrest. So the stronger resistant ones are great footrests because you can put your feet on them and kind of bounce them as you're sitting on a chair. Mm -hmm. And you've got an example for us. Yeah, so here it is on the chair. It's tied to both sides. And so then if you sit, you can bounce your feet up and down. Again, 
kids love it. Families love it. It's a really great solution for the chair. Yeah, it can really help kids feel more grounded if their feet don't touch the floor, as well as they're getting some movement, some deep pressure input through their feet. And it can be something that's super helpful in increasing attention when sitting in a chair. And the last one we wanted to talk about today is the use of a fidget or a stress ball. So there's a bunch of different stuff out there that you can find as fidgets. They're actually pretty mainstream popularized at the moment, I'd say. Tons of different ones. So with a stress ball, you can squeeze it and get a lot of deep pressure input in your hands, which can kind of wake up your hands before writing, as well as just kind of increase your focus and you can fidget with it while you're sitting in a chair doing your schoolwork or otherwise. And I've had good success with having kids put it in their pocket while they're at their desk at school. So it's a little bit more discreet. They're just kind of squeezing it in their pocket under their desk and maybe no one is even realizing that they're using a fidget at that moment. Yeah, that's great. I, I think that is, the pocket is a great idea. You know, for, for this time, I, I don't recommend this at school, but at home during this time, just having Play-Doh at the desk and doing it just like you were saying before we you know do our work just letting manipulating the play-doh finding a few treasures in the play-doh before you start the work is a great warm-up for our hands or even having a break too i know i i have this play-doh sitting here at my desk and i will just reach over and grab it sometimes and squeeze it and it's just it's calming for me too i i really like to do that 